Hello everyone and welcome to Civic Platform. This is your host Zuhair Al Musri. Today I'm covering uh, for a Pampina Active Living Plus 55 event. And this is an event, it's a very important event for our seniors, especially after the pandemic. So I don't want to make uh, my uh, introduction very long because they will start a dancing right away. So uh, let's find out uh, how that event helped uh, our seniors to pass their challenges in Winnipeg and uh, what the solution uh, the organization offered to them and programs. So let's jump right in. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really glad that Zuhair contacted us to join us today uh, representing the Civic Platform. We have wonderful opportunities for seniors. So if there's any seniors out there, we do many programs you can see behind us. There's lots of tables of information. But Pembina Active Living includes everybody. We want all cultures with us. We have people from China and the Ukraine and Sri Lanka and India, and we are all welcome here today or anytime at Pembina Active Living. Our address is 170 Fleetwood Road in White Ridge. So if you go to Costco, it's very close by Costco. And um, if you have any questions for me, I believe later on Zuhair says that you can ask me questions about Pembina Active Living. We've been running since 2009, and we do all kinds of different programs, from book clubs to exercise clubs to dance clubs. And we also have support groups for Alzheimer's people and for isolated seniors. We also have lots of um, ways to help them. Take five program every Monday. We really do try to reach every need of seniors. We have a great uh, painting group and a garden club which is just lovely so please feel free to find out more about Pembina Active Living at 55 plus. I think there's a lot of challenges that seniors face but research shows that socialization really helps seniors remain healthy. The biggest challenge for seniors is health and then affordable housing. There's many big challenges but at PAL, which was what our short name is for Pembina Active Living, we really try to find ways to help with all those needs. And if we don't have an answer, we'll find one for you. There's a lot of ways. Some of the seniors in the south end of the city are very isolated because they have no one to drive them anywhere. We're offering a program that they can come out for a whole day every Monday starting September 19th, and that's just one thing. Some seniors face a partner who has Alzheimer's or a, a loved one, and they need help coping with that, and we're offering that type of program. But then some of us just want to have fun, and we've got movie club, dancing programs, exercise programs, all kinds of fun things to do as well. All those things go to meet the needs of seniors where they live. It doesn't matter whether you're a permanent resident, a citizen, or just visiting, if you're staying here for the full year or a long time, you're welcome to call us. The number is 204-946-0839, Pembina Active Living. 55 plus. We're also on the, uh, have a website so you can look at that and it has all the information about all of our programs. So if you want to become a member or you just want to come and check it out, please give us a call and we'd be happy to come and show you around. Today we are here, it's the annual picnic and membership drive. So this is where all the people come before September starts and we go to the table and register for programs and register for uh, memberships and we find out about what's available. There's a few new ones this year. Uh, tai Chi softball and some, um, I think I mentioned movie club. There's a lot of new ones. So you'd have to come out here. This is a chance for you to see all the programs, for you to see some of the organizations and businesses that support seniors because there's a lot of people here at the tables their whole job is to support you, provide you with information, 
housing information, helpful ways to do things. And then there's also the government officials here. So you could come here in person and talk to the person that represents your community. So it's a really great day. It only happens once a year and we're only here till two. So you're all welcome. During the pandemic, our board is very careful to watch for the safety of seniors. And all of our inside programs, you have to be six feet apart. You had to wear masks. But now since um, springtime, the government has mandated that it's your choice. So if you feel safer wearing a mask, we still have masks at the front entrance. We have uh, hand sanitizer at the front entrance and we encourage people to do what makes them feel safe. And also, if you're not feeling too safe, we do have programs that are online. And there's some um, book club programs, some, um, I believe some exercise programs that you can actually join just by your laptop. And we're starting a new program called uh, tablet library so we're going to be providing we have 12 tablets and if you don't ever know how to use it we're going to show you how to use it let you take it home and use it for maybe about two weeks and try it out and see if you like having a tablet then bringing it back so there's lots of ways that we can help you if you're afraid about covid we're working to keep you safe My name is Wab Kanu. I'm the leader of the Manitoba NDP and I'm here with some of my colleagues today talking to the seniors and other folks who've come out to the uh, Come into Active Living uh, gathering here at St. Norbert Farmers Market. It's very important for seniors to have an event like this because part of being able to enjoy life as you age in Manitoba is to be able to continue to have a lot of social connections, a lot of meaningful activities and so for me I want to be here and participate as a member of the community, but I'm also somebody who believes in health and wellness, and I know that being able to stay engaged in the community with good social connections is an important part of uh, promoting well-being and a healthy lifestyle for people of all ages. Well, I think the two biggest challenges I'm hearing from seniors are some of the same challenges that everyone's facing right now, which are concerns about the healthcare system and worries about the cost of living. We see the price of gas and groceries going up and up and up. And especially if you're on a pension, a fixed income, that becomes even more challenging. So the advice that I have, uh, first and foremost, is to make sure that you're an advocate for yourself. If you see something in the healthcare system you don't agree with, write a letter, send an email, make a phone call, try and make your voice heard. And when it comes to the cost of living, you know, I think our team's approach is we know that the government can't do everything for you, but the government ought to be able to do some things and help out a little bit, whether it's with your Manitoba Hydro bill or with some of the other utility payments that you face. And so I, I guess my biggest piece of advice is just remember that we're working for you. So if you ever have a concern or a question, please do reach out and we're gonna work hard for you, whether it's on healthcare, cost of living, or any other issue. Well, we have to support seniors in the community. And I think if all of us do our part and participate in the vaccination programs and support the healthcare system and support community organizations like this one, I think that will help seniors uh, across the board. And I think it's very important for elected officials like me and the other people on our team to remember the lessons of the pandemic. So we have to really invest in personal care homes. We have to invest in seniors being able to live in the community and age in place in the community. And we really have to remember that our healthcare system needs resources and the right sort of investments for the future. And I think if we put those pieces together in place, we'll be able to help seniors be independent and healthy and enjoy community uh, activities like this one. And that, of course, I think is part of us coming out of the pandemic. I uh, just uh, welcome everyone to reach out to uh, our team as a Manitoba NDP, myself, Wab Kanu, I'm the leader. You know, we're working on healthcare, we're working on the cost of living, education for your kids and grandkids. These are some of the priorities that we want to focus on to build Manitoba into that proud province that we're so very fond of. Good afternoon. My name is Dale Schantz. I am the chair of the picnic committee for uh, Pemina Active Living and we're here to, um, to give uh, seniors in our area uh, a chance to get out and meet other people 
Uh, they can join our commit, our um, our picnic, and our uh, and our group, and do seniors activities in the south end of Winnipeg. My role today is um, I was chair of the planning committee for the picnic. Uh, we had a board or a, a committee of about eight people, and they were all actively involved in planning this picnic. This uh, this this type of scene would um, is good for seniors to be involved in the community. Um, it gives them activity activities to do. We have lots of different programs to sign up for if they want to. And uh, it's just healthy living for seniors. Our, our, our se uh, people in the, at the picnic here are, are doing lots of visiting after COVID. Um, they haven't been out and uh, it's just a great, great thing to see people um, visiting and just getting out together absolutely wonderful. We thank everybody that's been involved with, with the picnic. It's just wonderful. Uh, my name is Jamie Moses. I am the MLA for St. Vital and I'm here enjoying the wonderful event hosted by PAL. It's, it's really important for us to meet and talk to community members, especially seniors in our community who are engaging in social activities to enjoy not only community but to make sure that we keep uh, keep seniors active in our community. I think getting people together only helps to brighten our spirit as community members, particularly with seniors. After the last two years where many felt that they needed to stay inside, getting together as community is a perfect way to renew and revigorate those bonds of community and give us all a chance to celebrate the joys of being together. Seniors right now face many challenges. It's challenges around getting out, making connections, finding ways to stay healthy. And part of that is being a part of an active, vibrant community. Events like the ones today give seniors that opportunity to be engaged and be involved. And so we're glad and happy to see so many people engaged and be here today. I, I'm, I'm just, I just want to say and I want to be uh, celebrate and thank seniors for all they do to make our communities a better place. And today's event is just a, such a shining example of that. Hi, I'm Bernadette McCann. I am part of the picnic committee and my job today was to look after the flea market table. It's been going really well. We had lots of donations and we've sold a substantial amount of them already. I am a member of PAL. It's been really a good experience for me. It's be, I've been there since the foundation about 12 years ago. I really enjoy being part of the organization. I take part in the exercise classes, the book club, and a lots of other activities. It's very helpful as a senior to make new friends, to get out and keep healthy. Today's event was to sign up new members, to renew our membership, to register for programs for the fall. And I can see it's been pretty busy, so I'm convinced it's a success. The organization is open to all seniors. There's lots of volunteer opportunities. There's always new programs starting. Everybody is welcome, no matter what your level of ability is. There's lots of things to do. I've enjoyed being part of PAL, and I think anybody who comes will find something they like to do. Well, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th annual Penman Active Living 55 Plus, commonly referred to as PAL. After having not had a picnic for the last two years due to COVID, we are glad to be back. Can I hear a hooray? Hooray, we're back. Hooray, hooray. We have weathered the storm. Two years have passed, and now we're ready for a new chapter in our lives. My name is Jim McKenzie, and I will be your MC for this event. So, what do we have to offer you today? Well, we have entertainment, food, prizes, demonstration, flea market, and just plain old ordinary visiting. During the last two years, visiting took a bit of a toll, but we're back at it now. 
Most importantly, today, you can buy a membership to Pell and sign up for programming on site here today. Or you can visit www.pal55plus.ca. You might be interested in knowing that Pell has been operating for 13 years and presently has around 250 members. Over 40 volunteers involved throughout the year, putting in over 4,000 volunteer hours per year. I think you might be interested in the next announcement I have, very important. Right out that door, a little bit to the left, is the washroom. This is a senior's picnic after all, so you want to go with the washroom car. So at this time, we're going to open with O Canada, led by Joan McKenzie, and if you could, please stand, remove your hats, and please join in the singing, join in the singing. Oh. Pal, 
because we all want to be pals with you. And he is, I first met him at the Business and Organization Supporting Seniors. And that group just does their best to make seniors top priority. And every meeting, Fred would always uh, ask for resources or ways to help his senior clients and he went above and beyond. And so I was very thrilled when he said he would be not only on our board, but he would run as president. And he became president this spring. And I would like you all to welcome him right now to uh, introduce himself and to do the land declaration for us, Fred. All right, I'm very excited to be here today and be able to meet as many people as possible, part of PAL. I'm looking forward to working throughout the entire C year on how we can improve and excite the seniors of South Winnipeg. I'm very, very excited to be part of this organization. So I'm going to read the land declaration so we can get on and pass everything back over to Jim. The Pemina Active Trails Plus 55 operates on the lands of the Neshebe and Cree, OG Cree, Dakota and Dean peoples and the whole land of the Métis Nation. We respect the treaties that were made on these territories. We acknowledge the harms and the mistakes of the past. And we dedicate ourselves to move forward in partnership with communities in spirit of reconciliation and collaboration. Have yourself a great day.
And I kept going back there every year. Until 2001, ironically, I was performing with a different Swedish group, a famous Swedish singer. His name was Roger Ponte, and he was doing a special song about the indigenous people. And he asked me to be to dance with that song, so I was out there touring with him. And once his tour was done, I went to where he hooked me up to a place uh, in the city. And then the next day, which I didn't know, there was a G7 meeting. And then there was a riot. So I asked my best friend who I met in 97 if there was a way for her to come pick me up. She was it's a two and a half hour drive to come get you. It's eight o'clock at night. I said, well, there's things on fire here. I don't want to, everything's going nuts here. So she came and picked me up. And then we traveled two and a half hours back to her place. I stayed there all summer, and things connected. We ended up becoming a couple. I asked her, well, come and see me in Canada. If you come see me in Canada, you know it's serious. So she came. Um, when she left, she was only there for a bit. She left with, he's going to say, extra baggage. She phoned me and she says, uh, you're going to be a dad. <laughs> so I was like, what? So she moved back. And then, uh, yeah. And then she had to go home because she wasn't a citizen yet. So she had our oldest girl, who now has dual citizenship. So now she's, uh, now she lives here. And we end up having three more. I just wanted to seal the deal just to make sure that it's not going to happen. So that's why I have three more. So now we're teaching both. It's culture. I strongly believe in culture because that's what keeps everyone interested in everyone. It doesn't matter who you're from or where you come from or what your beliefs are. We're all interested in what we believe in. And we all want to learn and connect to one another. But we all live on Mother Earth and we all have to share this. Her world, she's the boss. She tells us what to do. No one can control her. So we have to respect her decision. We also gotta respect yours. So with mine, my wife is Swedish, so we do both. So my children should also speak Swedish. Uh, two of them anyways. And then uh, we do their culture and we do our culture. We do both. So uh, and now they know their both backgrounds. They, they, they know their family and they know my family. And uh, they both dance and then they both dance and they're, they're Swedish dancers. So the culture is always strong in our family and same with everybody else. So, and we always like to share. So if you guys are ever around and you see a sign that says Pala, that means you're guaranteed a welcome. You're guaranteed to have a good time. You're guaranteed to go home with some great memories. You're gonna go home with something you learn. And then you're gonna be taking part of some of our, our dances. When they say inter-tribal, that means everybody, including everyone all here. It means everyone coming back. So you're gonna go home guaranteed with a lot of laughter. That's what we like to do, we like to laugh. And with great memories. The only thing I can't guarantee you how long are you be following that sign? <laughs> I went to this pile in Ontario, ass driving, and I'm like, oh, there's that sign. You know about this high? So I turned down this gravel road. And I'm like, oh, we're not too far, not too far. Hour went by, two hours went by. I'm like, holy crap, how far is this going? Did I pass it? Two and a half hours, finally I see the sign saying, welcome. So, that's the only thing I can't guarantee. But like I said, you'll always be welcome. Someone will always be there to give you a handshake. And uh, you'll always will be fed, because food, we're, we're not stingy with food. We like to make sure you guys are fed. And if you guys are full, we like to give you extra, just to make sure that you guys stay full for the, for the evening. So, whew, really hot. <laughs> so I just like to say thank you for inviting me. It's kind of like a last minute thing. I'm glad everything worked out. There was a lot of craziness on my end. And uh, uh, like I said, Mother Nature always figures things out for me. And 
I, I always thank her uh, and everything. And I also thank my uncle because he's always my emergency backup. for uh, newcomer seniors. We have a, already started a program called Conversation Circle. And that's for people of all countries who want to practice English with a Canadian in a safe environment. So we have volunteers sitting across a table from you and we just talk about different things and help you to practice English. We also, um, I'm an ESL teacher, so I've just started tutoring for free a Ukrainian couple uh, that came here in March. So anybody who would like to have uh, tutoring in, in, if English is not your first language, it's not a problem. We would love to help you in any way we can. Okay, if you're considering joining our organization but you're hesitant to be alone, please call me. Uh, my phone number is 431 -277 -7893. And I will be glad to hook you up with one of our volunteers who is also an ambassador. And they'll make you feel welcome, they'll help you, they'll meet you at the center. And you never have to feel alone here. Whatever you need, we're here to help. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It's really important for you to stay connected to your senior community. And we hope you'll join us. Take care. Bye. We reach the end of our episode. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. If you like the episode, please like, share, and subscribe to see our upcoming episodes.